Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to learn more about the outputs and cloud formation. So outputs being optional declares the output values that you can import into another stack. For example, if I want, if I have declared a resource in a particular cloud formation stack and I want to reuse that same resource somewhere else, then we can make use of outputs so that we can import those values in our another stack. For example, if I consider a network cloud formation, then we can output the variable such as VPC ID, subnet ID, which can be later used with any of the uh, creation of resource. Like for example, we want to create an EC2 instance but only in the VPC that was previously created using another cloud formation stack, then we can make use of outputs. Okay, and the outputs are the best way to perform collaboration within the stacks, that is cross stack reference. So we also can't delete the cloud formation stack if referenced somewhere else. We'll first have to delete or remove the reference and then we can delete that particular uh, stack. Now let's talk about the syntax. So basically output section consists of the key name that is outputs only. Like for mappings, we had mappings. Similarly for outputs, we have got outputs only and followed by a space as well as colon. In case of in case of JSON, but in case of YAML, you can just directly write this outputs colon. Okay, so it you can declare a maximum of 200 outputs in a template. That is the maximum count of outputs. Okay, and let's talk about this YAML file now. Okay, so it is the, this will first start with outputs keyword. Then after that, we know what logical ID is. It is an identifier of this particular output. Okay. And the next thing is about description. We write description to inform or to create or to write information about whatever value we are going to return. Okay. So this is just a description which is which is of string type, okay? And then within the value, we mentioned the value that needs to be returned. That is whatever value you want to output. For example, if it is an uh, EC2 instance, which is already created, then I'll reference that EC2 instance over here so that it can be referenced somewhere else in another cloud formation stack. Okay, so this is the very important and required field. The value of the property returned by the AWS cloud formation command. The value of an output can include literals, parameter references, pseudo parameters, as well as a mapping value or any of those intrinsic functions also can be used for value. The next thing is about export. And you can see that this indicates the export with this particular name. This is a logical ID. With this, you can't, uh, I mean, use, you can't use this logical ID somewhere else in the uh, import stack. So we can we use exporting with this particular name. That is the name of the resource output to be exported for a cross-reference stock cross stack reference okay so this is it for this lecture hope you found it useful okay so if you really love the video please like share and subscribe the channel and also don't forget to press that bell icon for sure so hope it helped and have a nice day thank you so much